Now, was there a raid on uh, NASA offices, NASA Tulling Center in Westlands? Or there was no raid? Gosh. Folks, we're starting to see some trends, some things happening in our dear country which are not good. Okay? Now, uh, something very interesting happened on Friday. Uh, there was a report that uh, NASA offices were raided. Nation uh, journalists went there. They interviewed the, the Ascaris and they said uh, there was no raid. The Ascaris said they had seen no sign at all of any raid. And the general reported, uh, 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 said, reported that there was no raid. And the nation reported the denial by the Kenya police that there was no raid. End of story, no raid. Okay, second part of the story. KTN journalists go there, and actually there was a raid. They record, uh, you know, they show us very clearly what happened, the phones that were taken away, wires disconnected, you know, total disablement of the NASA Tiling Center. Now, the reason why I've started this particular story this way is that this is a very worrying trend. It suggests that the media is being manipulated because I know very many people who will not believe a story until it is in the nation. Yeah, I mean, how many times have I been out there and I even released a report and then somebody said, Iki to Kokwa Nation? Then when I tell them no, they say, Ah, but you see, Kweli. That's Kenya for you. Anyway, there are many people who, believe, who don't believe a story until they sit in the nation. Yeah, old school. And uh, it seems that the powers that be have got their full control of a nation. So I guess the message is clear, folks. Be very careful what you read in the nation. Yeah? Now, KTN reported this very well. They quoted all the uh, NASA sources who said exactly what happened. Over 30 hooded men. Yeah? Reminds me of the standard raid during the Kibaki days. Yeah? Hooded men went into the office. They were heavily armed with AK 47s. Yeah? Like they were coming to look for some. Uh, Al Shabaab terrorists, yeah, and everybody was told to lie down. Most of these were university students, uh, young people, you know. Uh, they were told to lie down and they were totally terrified, okay. And then uh, the office, the whole, the whole operation clearly was aimed at disabling this as a tiling center, okay. Laptops were taken away, computers taken away, etc., 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 okay. Now uh, the raid, of course, happened shortly after 7 p.m. on Friday, 4th August 2017. Now, there are a few very worrying factors, very, very worrying. In 2013, Jubilee had a tiling center. In fact, to make matters worse, they were using the same servers as the IBC. Okay? Now, in 2017, uh, NASA has tiling centers. They're not using the same servers as the IBC. And Jubilee are extremely worried. Why? Why are Jubilee worried about NASA having a tiling center? Because obviously they're worried. Now, of course, Jubilee are not going to tell us uh, what they're up to. And they're not going to tell us why they're worried. So we have to speculate. Yeah? Could it be that uh, this tiling will somehow interfere with their rigging plan? Yeah, because... What other explanation can there be? The tiling center, I mean, it's totally legal. Yeah, totally legal. What Jubilee did in 2013, <laughs> with uh, using the same servers as IBC, you know, watch, you know just, just make up your mind for yourselves. But according to me, that was dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. But what NASA are doing is not dodgy. They have their own independent uh, tiling centers. Okay? Why should this worry Jubilee? Unless... These telling centers will spoil a plan that Jubilee has to rig these coming elections. Now you guys, those who have been listening to this channel long enough know I'm totally uh, neutral. But I cannot shut my eyes at it because I'm neutral. I see one side doing something evil and then I, because I'm neutral, Sita Sema, uh, no way. And the way I'm seeing now, there's something creeping into the Jubilee side, one side of the political divide. That is very obvious for everybody to see. And it can only be described with one word. I've tried to look for another English word to describe what Jubilee is, uh, the tendencies Jubilee are displaying. I have not found that word. 
What Jubilee are displaying right now, folks, is something called desperation. Desperation. Now, why are Jubilee desperate? I thought the opinion polls told us uh, who is leading. I thought uh, they have uh, Rift Valley in the bag, as I'm uh, continuously told. Uh, the whole uh, central province is the bag. They have pockets of uh, support all over the country. And uh, who is getting re-elected? So where's the desperation coming from? Where? Where's the desperation coming from? Now, uh, some of these uh, polls, because I've, I've received a lot of flack, uh, people have really insulted me. Because I started saying very early that these polls do not reflect reality. Okay? And some of these polls were done by very reputable blue-chip international companies. But it seems uh, everybody has a price. Everybody can be bought. Because what is emerging now clearly is that those opinion polls were cooked. Zilikuwa zimepikwa jikoni. Zikapikwa, ziketarishwa, zikaweko kachumbari, wakenya wakaandaliwa. Yeah? That's really what happened. Because they were total nonsense when you compare what, has, what is happening in the ground. But let me come back to my question. If uh, these opinion polls are correct, and Kumekucha doesn't know what he's talking about, after all, Luis Kumekucha, yeah? And uh, if truly Uhuru is leading, then what is the desperation all about? What is this uh, raiding uh, telling centers all about? Yeah, uh, with armed men. Yeah, and then the police goes and denies it. And it's clear evidence. So who, who raided this? Uh, was it Jubilee thugs posing as cops or what? This is not good. This is not good for the country. And uh, I appeal to the Jubilee side of the political divide to smarten up. Please. Yeah, Kenya, we have a country after the elections. And uh, you keep on talking about peace and you keep on accusing the other side of causing violence. But uh, you're just talking. Your actions display that actually you're the villain in this case. You're raiding your opponent's offices, disabling their tallying equipment, taking away laptops. What is this? What is going on? Until next time, this is Chris Kubekuja.